In our last video, we highlighted two reasons why qualified academic scholars agree that Jesus is unique. But we hinted that there are many, many more ways in which Jesus is unique. In this video, I want to explore two more. The first one is that he had a unique death. Jesus' death by crucifixion in Judea under Pontius Pilate during the reign of Tiberius is a fact of history. But lots of people die, and lots of people died by crucifixion under the Romans. So why is Jesus' death unique? Well, partly it's because we uniquely have rich historical accounts of his execution, partly because of the many details we know and the way they all fit with Old Testament predictions made hundreds of years before, partly the particular acute sufferings of Jesus. One of the greatest English poets, George Herbert, in his The Sacrifice, has this repeated line, was ever grief like mine? The, the abandonment, betrayal, the mockery, the sense in which this is cosmic, cruel irony. The sufferings of Jesus are unique. But mainly the death of Jesus is unique because of its significance. Here is an innocent one dying in the place of the guilty. Here is a man who knew he would suffer and die. Here is a leader who lays down his life for his people. Here is a man who is God and a God who came down and a one who will die that we might live. But I said two reasons, and there are. There's a second reason Jesus is unique, and it's this. He had a unique death. That's the same one, isn't it? But it's different. He had a unique death because his death was not the end of the story. Jesus didn't stay dead. Oh, this is the, the stuff of fairy tales, isn't it? Sort of Christian mumbo jumbo. Actually not, <laughs> There's a shed load of historical evidence that Jesus was really real, that he definitely died on the cross and that he physically rose from the grave. And many of the facts in this historical case for the resurrection of Jesus are agreed upon by radical, sceptical atheist scholars. This is not religious mumbo jumbo. This is hard facts to face, evidence to be examined and life to be had. And we're going to think more about these things in our next couple of videos during the Easter season.